channel if you're new thank you so much for stopping by you're welcome boo hit the subscribe button and join the family okay so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve a full glam makeup look a full face bit going to a party a birthday this is the video for you honey so let's get started okay so i'm going to be using this primer from rimmel london I'm going to set my primer with this um, Makeup Revolution Loose Setting Powder. This is what it looks like. You can use any loose powder of your choice. I'm going to concentrate this mainly on my T-zone area because this is where I get oily the most. So if you have oily skin, don't skip this step, especially when you want like a full beat. So for my brows, I'm first of all going to push my brows in place using this classic eyelash glue. And this is going to serve like a brow gel for me because even though my brows are very sparse, they are quite unruly and they don't stay in place. So I'm just going to brush this through my brows. Okay, so to fill in my brows, I usually use pencils. I'm going to start by outlining the bottom parts of my brows on both sides. And then I'm going to start creating little hair-like strokes at the front part of my brows because my brows are like really sparse especially at the front so i'm going to start creating hair-like strokes that i do not have because you know we have to fake it to make it very okay so i'm going to do that throughout the brows yeah i'm going to connect the top part and the bottom part and just fill in the tail i like my brows to be like pretty structured most of the time Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm going to use this to clean up my brows. So I'm taking my concealer brush, this is just a regular flat brush and I'm going to start cleaning the bottom part of the brows because I want my brows to be like really clean. So now I'm just taking the leftover concealer and blending it over my eyelid to serve as a base for my eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow I'm going to be using today is from Makeup Revolution. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. This is the Courage White Animal Palette and this is what it looks like inside. So I'm going to take this brown shade first. This is a very deep brown shade and I'm going to start putting that in the outer corners of my eye and bringing it into my crease as well. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. I'm going to take a lighter brown shade with a fluffier brush and I'm going to start blending at the edges of the first brown shadow. You want to take your time to blend. This video is a bit sped up so it looks like I did this really fast but I actually took my time to blend this shade, okay? Blend your shade, okay? So now to create some more depth, I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette. This is from Ellie Girl, Hello Pro, something like that. I can't remember. I'm taking the black shade there and I'm going to use this to deepen the outer corners of my eyes because we want to create some depth, obviously. <laughs> so I'm just blending this in with a small brush as well, blending it into my um, crease a little bit. Then I'm going to take this green shimmer shade. I love this shade, like it's such a pretty green shade. And I'm going to just apply this all over my lid. I'm not cutting my crease or anything, but it's still gonna look very nice. So I'm just applying this all over my eyelid. And yeah, so we're done with the eyes now. I have my lashes done already. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using this foundation from Elsa's Pro. This is their medium coverage foundation. I just shook it up a little because this was actually my first time using it. And this shade match, you guys, just literally perfect. Like, can you guys see? It matches me so well. Like, so, so well. So I'm just blending this out with my Kabuki brush into my skin. You guys can see it's medium coverage so you have to build on it if you want like really full coverage which is what i want so i have to go over 
um with a few more pumps so you really get the coverage that i wanted but yeah so i'm using the elsa Pro concealer as well this concealer is like oh my gosh you guys i have no words to describe it i absolutely love this concealer like this is one of my favorite concealers at the moment like bam so i'm just highlighting my face as usual highlighting underneath my eyes my forehead my nose I'm going to leave it to dry for a little bit while I contour my face. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Matte Base Concealer Stick to contour my face. This is like um, not so dark, so it gives me a very natural contour look, contoured look. I'm using a little brush to, you know, contour my nose. Then I'm going to blend out my concealer now with my damp beauty sponge. You guys can see me smiling, and that's because this concealer is great like it blends out really well especially when you let it dry a little bit like oh you guys need to get your hands on this concealer it's amazing so i'm blending out my under eyes now you guys can see like it took me less than a minute to blend each under eye because the concealer was so good like it didn't take time at all So I'm using a brush to blend out my contour now you can see how subtle this contour is like it's not so harsh it just blends out really easily and that is the goal okay so I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty setting powder this is in the shade honey and I'm going to use this to set my under eyes I'm just taking some of my beauty sponge I'm just going to press this into all the highlighted parts of my face so my under eyes my nose my chin my forehead I'm going over everything with my MAC Studio Fix powder to make everything well blended. Like you guys, blending is key in everything you do, blending is key. For my blush, I'm using this blush from Glam Girls. This is my favorite blush. I don't even remember the name. I'll try and leave it in the description box. But I'm just going to use this to um, blush my cheeks. Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> So I'm using the Makeup Revolution Splendor Glow Bronzer to bronze my face and add a little bit of warmth. It wasn't giving me the depth I really wanted. You, you guys can see this, like, so just me, giving me warmth. And I love warmth, obviously, but sometimes I need depth, especially because I used a very, a not so dark um, contour stick. So I'm using some setting powder to just carve out my nose. This is what I do to make my nose look extra snatched. Okay, we want our face to look snatched while being well blended. Okay, I'm carving out underneath my contour as well because this will just make the contour look more defined and stand up more. I'm going to take my bronzer and a fluffy brush and I'm going to contour my nose with the bronzer. I'm bringing it into my brows as you guys can see. This will make the nose like look really well defined. So I'm lining my waterline now with some black gel liner. I don't remember the liner I used but I know it was some black gel liner. I'm also taking this brown shade to smudge out my bottom lash line or my lower lash line whichever you call it. I'm blending out the powder, the excess powder that I used in sculpting my face. You want to pat and not sweep so you don't mess up your under eye and everything you've done. So I'm going over everything again with my face powder and my powder brush. This will like make everything look seamless and well blended. Then for this next step, it's really not necessary. I'm taking a very light translucent powder and I'm going to use it to like brighten up my under eyes a little because I like a really bright under eye, but it's totally not necessary. You can skip this step if you don't want it, okay? But this will just add an extra oomph, oomph <laughs> to your whole makeup, okay? So I'm blending everything again with my face powder. Then I'm going to highlight my face using this highlighter from Glam beauty pro cosmetics i'm just going to highlight my cheeks a little bit i don't like a too bright highlight but mm, this highlighter is just perfect it's not too bright but i still went over it with my powder brush then i switched my brushes because i wanted it to be more blended So 
so now for my lips i'm going to be using this lip pencil from elsa's pro as well you guys can see i used a lot of elsa's pro products that's because their products are great like they sent me their products i tried them out and i really really loved them this is in the shade chestnut i'm using this lipstick from elsa's pro as well it's a liquid matte lipstick and oh this lipstick is absolutely stunning you guys it's absolutely stunning it's matte but it doesn't dry too um patchy or anything like that i just went over it again with my lip pencil now i'm going to set my face with my zikel cosmetics setting spray i just applied some mascara to my lower lash line sorry my bottom lashes <laughs> Apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. You want to be careful so you don't mess up your face, okay? I'm adding some gloss. This is just regular gloss I got from the beauty shop. You can use any gloss of your choice. Regular clay gloss. And we are done. So you guys, guys this, this is, is the final look. Like, I can't even believe the transformation. Fun. Check me out. Check me out. So you guys, this is the final look. I completely love how this look came out. Like, this is such a glam look, such a full glam. But yet, it's like so subtle because it's well blended out and all that. You can wear this anywhere. You can wear this for your birthday, dinners, any party at all. Like, you can wear this anywhere, daytime or nighttime. Like, this is such a look, such a vibe. But a complete vibe, honey. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, don't come here, watch my video, learn from me for free, and then you will not subscribe. That's uh, that's wickedness, honey. Subscribe to my channel, okay? Watch, I'll see you guys in my next video.